everybody, welcome to Wild Dog Way. I'm Jessica, and today's video is going to be our fall homeschool plans. Now, when I say the fall for our homeschool, that means September, October, and November. I try my best to split our terms, if you will, into like three month sections. That doesn't always work great at the holidays, but for the most part, it works the rest of the seasons. Um, for the fall, our plans are just a little bit complicated because we start back to school September 1st. We will have two full school weeks at home, and then we leave on a month long cross country national park road trip. And then we'll come back for the remainder, which will be like the last six weeks. So it's a little complicated. Um, our national park road trip is going to be even larger than the one we took last year and we'll be gone even longer. What we are hoping to hit, which is gonna be a huge part of our learning this fall, in a perfect world is Gateway Arch, Badlands, Mount Rushmore, Wind Cave. Hopefully, as of right now, it says that the elevator will be fixed in fall and it's gonna be fall. If it's not fixed, we'll be skipping that one. Um, Devil's Tower, Yellowstone, Grand Teton, and then all five of the Utah National Park. So Arches, Bryce Canyon, Canyonland, Capitol Reef, Zion. That is the plan. It is a lot of states, it is a lot of stops. Um, like I said, that's in a perfect world. So with that being said, I kind of have two piles, a pile of things that I intend for us to do on the road and at home versus a pile of things that we're only gonna be doing when we're home, which means that it's not gonna be done for at least a month. So when we are at home and on the road, one of the things that we will be doing are our discovery decks. They have become an absolute essential in our homeschool. It is a perfect way for me to get five to 10 minutes of peace, for me to get Emily to wake up and learn something while she's eating, um, for me to take on the car and the go. Like it's a great way for me to sneak in educational screen time. They're absolutely perfect. Another thing is she can learn about whatever she wants to that day. So like she has all the cards and if she's like, huh, you know, what sounds good today is the three branches of government. On our trip, I plan to take three of my picks and three of her picks as far as the decks go. So my picks are obviously US government, US history, and the presidents. Um, her picks will probably be all about animals, and then the new birds and bugs. That is my guess, I could be wrong, but they'll probably be animal based. Um, but that's my plan is to basically take six decks, three topics that I pick, three topics that she picks. And then obviously when we're home, I just put all of the cards in this container right here and she just picks a new one or I strew one if there's one specific that I want her, but we just kind of randomly flip through them. They're not necessarily sorted. Um, the other things that we will be doing when we are home and on the road are traveling the states. We will be doing these on the road and at home. Specifically on the road, we will only do the states that we are actually driving through or going to. Um, I'm going to only print the pages for those states for her and I to take. That way, if something happens to it, I'm not like upset, whatever, it's fine. Um, same thing with traveling the parks. I will specifically only take the national parks that we're going to be going to or stopping at. Me and Emily both have um, clipboards that like have the, you know, open and shut. So I will put her pages in her clipboard and the teacher pages in my clipboard. So that I have the QR codes and all that um, with me. And like that way, if, you know, it gets wrinkled or whatever, it's not like my whole curriculum. And that way I'm not taking things that we're not going to be doing. Cause I know we'll only do the States and the parks that we're actually going to be doing or going to on our road trip for math. I am going to be using our mathematics for everyday learning on the road. I will obviously incorporate this when we're home too, but specifically when we are on the road, I'm going to be referencing the math on the go section quite a bit. Um, and then I will also see what else I can pull from it to just kind of keep us doing real world everyday math. There will probably be a lot of mileage and figuring out our gas and cost and budgeting and that kind of stuff using that as a base. Um, and then her book clubs. So luckily her book clubs are on out school. We should have Wi-Fi pretty much everywhere we go because we actually have Wi-Fi in our car. Thank 
goodness because um, that's how I can still work on the go as well. So she should be able to either between the hotel or um, the car do her book clubs no matter what. And she loves them and wouldn't want to miss them. So in the fall, the three books that she's doing with Mary Hannah Wilson are Masterminds, Mercy Suarez Changes Gears, and The First State of Being. Now, she's already read this one because this book club is before we leave. This one, um, this is the book club that will be while we're gone. So I have already gotten a copy on her Kindle because I am trying to take, don't get me wrong, I am still taking a plethora of books and games. I'm trying to take as little as possible. Um, so this I already got on her Kindle for her so she can finish reading it when we're on the go and well as masterminds, if she finishes Mercy Suarez, she can start it. So I have those on the Kindle to make traveling a little bit easier. And then when we get home or when we're home before we leave, and then when we come back home, the things that we will be doing will be Denison pre-algebra, fix it grammar, our US government study. I'm saving this because this is six weeks. And if we were to time it right, we will be back with exactly six weeks to the week before the election, which means that we could do this whole study at home and essentially end it right as the election starts. So that is why I'm saving this for when we come back. Um, and then along with that, I really wanted to also save our giver novel study because I kind of love the parallel of like government in general and how different this kind of, I guess, government is um, versus like what we have. And I really kind of want to draw the, that parallel and kind of compare and contrast that. And I may even have her create her own government after reading about the U.S. government and then reading about something like a utopia um, in The Giver. And then we will also still be doing a lot of mini units, like who, what, where. For sure, I know that we will be doing the where is Mount Rushmore, the who was George Washington, the who was Abraham Lincoln, the who was Thomas Jefferson, and you guessed it, who was Theodore Roosevelt. Because we are going to Mount Rushmore, my plan is to actually get these in before we leave because we have that two week window before so that she is already familiar with Mount Rushmore and the presidents that are featured on it. Um, but then when we get back, I'm sure as we're reading through our government study and we're doing other things, I'll pull other who, what, where, mini units and do those as well. Um, and then the last thing is subscriptions because we always have subscriptions. Obviously the subscriptions will only be done. Actually, that's not true. One of them will be done on the go, but for the most part, they're not gonna be done except when we're home. The one that will be done on the go is our letter subscriptions. So these are our subscriptions to um, Heritage Letter and American Heritage Letter. I will be taking our American Heritage Adventure. I will be taking our American Heritage Adventure letters that fit in with us. So I have like the Badlands Letter, the Mount Rushmore letter, Yellowstone letter, Grand Teton, Arches, and this one has our address on it, but it's Zion. <laughs> um, so that is my plan is to just kind of stick these in a bag and we will read them like as we're driving to that specific park. Um, and then we also have other letters like their heritage letter, um, writings from the wild, I'm trying to think. We have three or four other letters that we get that we really love. I will link a video to our uh, letter subscriptions up here if you're interested in knowing and learning more about them. Um, but that is one we will take with us. And then none of the others we will do on the go. We will just do them whenever we're home and when we're doing Mail Time Monday like usual. And then in our seventh grade curriculum picks, I told you that I would update you on the subscriptions that we were using quarterly because I'm only gonna do month to month as we kind of figure out what is going to fit us best. So the ones that we are doing for the fall, the ones that I went ahead, I, th I think some of them let me do a three month. Anyway, the ones we're doing for the fall are the Crunch Labs and their new Hack Pack 
Um, I'm trying not to show our address. Kevin thinks that Emily has probably almost grown out of Crunch Labs. Emily is like, I don't think I have. So our plan is to let her continue to get the Crunch Labs and the Hack Pack for now. And then at the end of this quarter, kind of say like, okay, do you really still now think you need both? I will say they did a Hack Pack the other day and she was so excited. And even Kevin was like, this is really cool. But the Hack Pack only comes every other month because that's just what they have right now. It's more advanced. Um, and I think that's why she still wants Crunch Labs to kind of fill in when she's not getting a hack pack. But I would say if hack pack came every month, she 100% would be like, I want it and not Crunch Labs because it's just more advanced and a lot more fun. And then KiwiCo, it's kind of a similar thing. Um, the two of them are like, eh, one of them wanted to get the Make It set. The other one wanted to get the Eureka set, which is their oldest line, um, right? Yeah, the Maker and the Eureka. This was not <laughs> a good month because the Maker was a chessboard. Um, Kevin wanted the Eureka. Emily kind of wanted the Maker and the Eureka. The Maker was a chessboard with chess pieces, which did not help sell his point at all. It really just made her want to keep getting the Maker. So for this quarter, that's what we're doing. We're getting both. At the end, we'll talk about it and see, like, as a family, do you still really both want both of them? Do you still really like both of them? And hopefully we can pick one because what I would like to see is, like, if we're going to do both, do one for three or six months and do the, then do the other for three to six months versus getting both every month. But I'm not really going to argue too much. She loves them. She does them. She learns, you know, while she's doing them. So it's not like, it's not like she's wasting the money. But I would just love to see a stick to one because we don't always now as busy as we are have the time to do um, as many as we did when she was younger and she wasn't in so many extracurricular activities. And that brings me to the last thing for the extracurriculars for the fall. She will be doing karate, 4-H, um, which is her archery. And I believe she has three 4-H competitions in the fall and no more i think we're done no we have one more um family archery competition and i'm hoping that that's it because our fall is kind of full with us being gone for a month so we were trying to limit outside expectations and promises to as minimal as possible so that is what we will be doing outside is just basically karate and archery through 4-h so that is it that is our plans for the fall they're a little bit kind of everywhere. Originally, I had intended for us to leave for the, our trip as soon as the school year started so that we would just be gone for a month and then home for two months, but it just didn't play out that way. And so it's just going to be a little bit weird because we'll be home for two weeks, gone for four weeks, home for six weeks, but we're going to make it work. We're going to make the best of it. It's hopefully going to be a fantastic trip with tons of learning. Um, and I will just get creative with my planning. But now I would absolutely love to know what are your fall homeschool plans. So please let me know what your plans are down in the comments.